What's up guys, we're back with another vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. We have Dark Crisis Original 2003 packs, but before we open them, the giveaway are these three cards, all Dark Crisis cards. So we have a Ultra Rare Guardian Grawl, First Edition Medora, and a Terra King Archfiend. All you gotta do to enter the giveaway is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about Dark Crisis. You don't have to tell me about the pulls, just let me know what you think about this set in general. And let's go ahead and get into it. We have 20 packs. By the way, I have 72 more of these, and they're on my website in groups of 24. So if you want a group of those, then check out my website, ruxon34.com, and you guys can get some. So let's see if we got any foils in these. Hopefully we do. If not, then we're probably not going to sell those lots, because that would be weird. Okay. Here we go. We have a Rod of the Mind's Eye. Let's see if we can pull the Exodian Necros. Last time we opened a ton of these packs, a long time ago... Maybe it wasn't the last time, but it was a long time ago. Two Necrosses. It was crazy. Spell Reproduction. And an Infernal Queen Archfiend. Yeah, for this set, let's just check out the artwork on all of these. It's really cool. It's really good. So, I mean, just like really nice looking cards for the most part. There's a Guardian Grarl. There's his, his axe. The one we're giving away. There's his axe. One of these packs actually had a hole in it. It was really weird. I'll show you guys when we get to it. It had a hole right in the middle. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Okay, original Dark Crisis. Let's see what we can get here. We have a Frozen Soul, Staunch Defender, Archfiend's Roar, Thousand Needles. Ooh, a secret rare Judgment of Anubis. So it looks like we do have retail packs. So we're probably not going to be pulling the um, Vampire Lord unless this is a mix of retail and hobby packs. By the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, retail and hobby for the original sets, the only difference from the first 11 sets is the secret rare you can pull. So if they're retail packs, we can obviously pull Judgment of Anubis, which is a really nice looking card. Very cheap, but very nice looking, but still really cool to get an original secret rare. So that's a good start. So these packs are definitely unweighed. So if you guys are interested in some of the other ones I have, I have 72 other packs. Maybe I'll keep some of them. Um, at least one of the lots, but uh, you guys can check out those first 48 for sure and have it open on the channel and let me know if you guys do that if you want any sort of, you know, shout out to your channel or something. Okay. Staunch Defender. So we're, we're, we're in a good start here. Two packs, a Seager Rare, Archfiend's Roar. We've got a Thousand Needles, Shadow Knight Archfiend. These Archfiends look really cool. I'm a big fan. Different Dimension Gate, just a rare on that one. Another Guardian Elma, Guardian Grawl, the Axe. All right, next pack, Dark Crisis Original Packs. Let's see if we can pull the Necros. We've got the Nintendog, the Nintendog. Let's play some Nintendo DS, Dark Scorpion, Mane the Thorn. Arsenal Robber, here we go. Let's see if we, okay, that's, look at that. Very cool. And a fear from the dark. Dark Scorpion Chick the Yellow. Wasn't this the one that was banned or something at some point because of... What was the reason? I can't remember. It was like... Abusable was some actually really good card, but that card itself wasn't good. It was only good because of that other card. But for some reason they banned it. Okay. Here we go. Frozen Soul. Staunch Defender. Archfiend's Roar. Wait. Shouldn't that have been the fifth card? Maybe not. Thousand Needles. And a Metalizing Parasite Lunatite. Okay. Vile Plon Archfiend. The Ojama Green. Is this the first ever Ojama? It might be. Token Thanksgiving and Morale Boost. I'm trying to think. There wasn't any in Magician's Force or Pharaonic Guardian, I don't think. So that would make this the very first one. It's pretty nuts. All right. Acrobat Monkey. What a strange one. An autonomous monkey-type robot, which was developed with cutting-edge technology, moves very acrobatically. Is this a reference to, um, Joey? Sakuretsu Samurai... Sakuretsu? Sasuke Samurai number two. Speaking of Sakuretsu, maybe we'll pull it. Also, we want to pull a skill drain, stuff like that. We got a seal. Frozen Soul. Dark Scorpion Combination. Chaos, we got the Little Wind Guard. Arsenal Summoner. Hey, he's, he's holding the, uh... Dagger, uh, Butterfly Dagger Elma. And Battle Footballer. Got some football. Next pack. So far, just one hollow. It is a secret rare, though. So I'm wondering 
Are there going to be no foils besides the secret rare? That would that would be interesting. The secret rares are kind of tough to scale out. So if these were scaled, you could end up with a secret rare. We're going to find out. DD Trainer. We got a Nagito. Kelbeck. Battle Scarred. Death's Feral Imp. Okay, Altar for Tribute. Okay, what is on there? That's a little bit scary. <laughs> Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. Pandemonium Watch Bear. And the Cestus of Dagla. Alright, so what are we in now? Like six or seven packs, only one foil. A little bit slow. Usually get about one every five or six packs, so we're not necessarily off the ratio yet. 20 packs, we should get four to five foils, I think. Alright, Sasuke Samurai number two. Let's get that Exodian Necros. We got the Seal. Frozen Soul. Staunch Defender. Skill Drain. Okay, no foil, but we did get the best rare, which is like a $9 rare unlimited. Which is absolutely nuts. I mean, that's really good. It's better than a lot of the foils. Very cool. The uh, Hades is getting melted right there. Okay, we're down to like we're on the ninth pack. Only one foil so far. We're gonna find out what do these look like. Are there any foils here? Come on, Acrobat Monkey. Let's do this. Sasuke Samurai number two. The Shooting Star Bow Seal. Frozen Soul. Ooh, and speak of the devil, Butterfly Dagger Elma. I guess it was two packs ago, but we did see this on a different artwork. Really cool. Banned card because of the Gear Freed combo. Yeah, I know. I'm very I'm very uh, educated in all these uh, the combos. Bruh. The Outstanding Dog Marin, one of Chelsea's favorite cards. Elma and Guardian X Royal. Okay, 10th pack. So it uh, looks like these are pretty legit. We have a Secret Rare and a Super Rare so far. So I'm feeling pretty good about them. I'm glad because I did buy them loose, and sometimes when you buy them loose, you gotta make sure that they're legit. All right, blindly loyal goblin. We've got the mustering of the dark scorpions. Spell or reproduction. Gaga ego. Wicked breaking Flamberg bow. Battle footballer. Presses cards from beyond. Goblin of greed and archfiend's oath. All right, second half here. We're gonna have that ripped pack soon, where the front is. <laughs> this is just a hole in it. It's really funny. Can we get an Ultra in the set? The Ultras we want are Exodia Necros, we want Shinado, we want uh, Skull, Archfiend of Lightning, stuff like that. Acrobat Monkey, if you guys haven't seen my first edition Dark Crisis Booster Box opening, go check it out. It was really awesome. Sasuke Samurai number two. It was a 36 packer, so it was a long one too. Seal, Frozen Soul, Dark Scorpion Combination, okay. Chaos, Checkmate, we got some, some chess. Chess got really popular on YouTube recently. Now, I guess it wasn't that recent, but it was a few months ago. So there you go. There's your, there's your chest reference. Okay. Here we go. Let's get another foil. Let's get an ultra rare. Sasuke Samurai number two. We got a shooting star bow seal. Frozen soul. Staunch defender. Dark master zork. Very cool. Very cool. Look at this guy. That looks like a Zork. It looks like a guy that would be named Zork. So it's really cool. We will take that Dark Master Zork. Very nice foil. Another super rare. We are looking for that Ultra. There's a Marin. Guardian Elma for the, like, almost every single pack. Sad one. Okay. Whew, come on, Necros. Let's pull something good. It's always fun to open these originals, even if they are unlimited. Just a good time. Just a good time. Oh, is this bent? I don't know. I felt like it was bent for some reason. All right, Sasuke Samurai number two. Seal. This is actually, I think, one of my first prismatics and duel links. I got this card. And it was a, a, what do you call it? It's like a, I guess you call it prismatic? I don't know. The ones that like spin. Frozen Soul. If you don't play duel links, you're like, what are you talking about? Staunch Defender. Another secret rare judgment of Anubis. Okay, that's weird. That's really weird. Okay, it's definitely looking like retail packs then. So, Judgment of Anubis. Number two. Check out that name. It's got a lot of ink blotching on it. Really nice looking card though. Just look at that. Ooh, that looks pretty. How's the back look? Pretty clean. A little bit of scuffing on it. But not too bad. Judgment of Anubis. Altar for tribute. And the Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. Alrighty. Another foil. So what is that? Four foils? It's pretty good. Pretty good ratio so far. Pretty good. Two secret rares. It's kind of weird. But all right, we'll take it. We will take it. So we pulled double Necross before, and now we pulled double Secret Rare. We've got a Kelbeck. Battle Scarred. Acrobat Monkey. 
Sasuke Samurai, number two. And a Guardian Bow. Dark Scorpion Chick, the yellow. And a Guardian Chaist. Guardian Chaist. Okay. Next pack. Can we pull the legendary? Exodia Necros. If it's not in here, then I'm guessing that maybe one of the other packs has one. I mean, let's see. You get basically a 1 out of 120 chance to get one. We had 92 packs. So over a 75% chance if you look at it like that. Mustering of Dark Scorpions. Spell Reproduction. Gaga Gigo, non spell casting area, and Terror King Archfiend. So we gave this one away and we pulled it. So look at that. That's really cool. Terror King Archfiend. Nice card. Very nice card. Super rare. That's our fifth foil. We're looking okay now. Little Wing Guard and Arsenal Summoner. By the way, the math I was doing there is there are 10 ultra rares. They're one in every 12 packs. 10 different ultra rares. So you have, if you're looking for a specific one like Exodia Necros, you have. 10 ultra rares to go through at 12 packs each. That's 120 packs. And that's how you get to that number. All right. Battle scarred. We got a Shinato's arc. Let's get the Shinato. We don't have an ultra ultra rare yet. Let's go. Acrobat monkey. Sasuke samurai number two. Here we go. Like button for luck, guys. Cost down. Ultra rare. We have a cost down. Very nice card. The cost down. That is pretty cool. It's a cool card. It's not very good, but it's pretty cool. I like it. It's like stabbing through the level stars. It's just a nice look. So that's a, another one. Final countdown. First one we've pulled. I think that's a short print. Worth a couple bucks. Battle Footballer and Precious Cards from Beyond. Okay, four more packs. We already have five foils. We've almost pulled a booster box ratio. Well, not in terms of like specific ones. Like we should have two ultras. We should have one or zero secrets, but we have two. You know, we should have more super, you know, stuff like that. But in terms of the, the full number, we're close. All right, DD Trainer. Agido. Kelbeck. Battle Scarred. Fear from the Dark. Battle Footballer. And Goblin of Greed. Three more packs of the Dark Crisis. Wait, did we did we open the Rift pack already? Oh, I missed it. Maybe you guys noticed it. I missed where, where it was. Alright, well. <laughs> okay. Here we go. DD Trainer. Agito. Kelbeck. Battle Scarred. Legendary Flame Lord, you always think it's Shinado or something cool. Or um, but I was about to say we're chef. That's the wrong set. Checkmate or final attack orders. Two more packs. Here we go. Dark Crisis Original 2003. By the way, you can tell these lo this logo is what they changed to after the original square logo. So some people think this is a reprint logo. It is not a reprint logo. Reprints have there it's written Konami, but there's no banner around it. It's just like Konami, like with like lines around the letters, basically. Shinano's art, Acrobat Monkey, Sasuke Samurai number two, Shooting Star Bow Seal, and Contract with the Abyss. Okay, we can summon any dark monster with that. Nice, we can get our Zork out. Final pack of this 20 pack opening. We've done pretty good so far. So if we finish it with a foil, it's gonna be pretty big. Can it be an Exodia Necros? Reminder, if you guys are interested in some packs, check it out. Um, looks like the ratios are pretty normal, which is pretty nice. Shinado's Arc, Acrobat Monkey, Sasuke Samurai number two, Shooting Star Bow Seal, and a Legendary Flame Lord. Okay, Final Attack Orders, Guardian Elma, and Grarl. Okay, pretty good opening, pretty good. Let's see what we got. All right, from 20 packs, we got one Final Countdown. Not many, it's a short print. They're pretty tough to pull. One Skill Drain. That's pretty good since it's a very expensive card. We actually got a booster box ratio in terms of numbers. We got one, two, three super rares. We got one ultra and two secrets. So we got six total foils, which is really awesome out of 20 packs. If you open a booster box, you usually get six to seven. So we got the six, which is pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video. Let me know what else you'd want to see in terms of original openings, and I'll try and pick some stuff up. Also, don't forget to use my TCG Player and eBay affiliate links below if you want to support the channel. I appreciate you guys who do that, and that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh. <laughs>